<laughs> it's a good one. Good fish. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Aggressive and strong, especially oh. against this current. My God. Oh, this was bigger than I thought. Fly vs. Shark 15 is brought to you by Leech, polarized sunglasses for fishing. Watski, your online store for boating equipment in the Nordics. Golden Catch, fishing essentials for every angler. JR Logistic, staffing and recruiting of warehouse workers and truck drivers since 2003. Dámy a pánové, vítejte k pátému dílu Fly vs. Jerk 15. Stop, stop, stop. English, please. Welcome back to episode five in Fly vs. Jerk. Uh, this time in English, not Czech. Yeah. But uh, yeah, those of you that speak Czech, well, uh, double welcome. What are we doing today? Today we will start because it's a free day. You can choose whatever wa waters you want yeah. and you can use live today. We will be choosing river for start, uh, and then we may switch water. We will see. Let's go, brother. Let's do it. Let's make it count. Yeah. Team Jigger.nu gaat de laatste dag in met een voorsprong van drie punten. Vlak daarachter bevindt zich Team Nee Stroft, die gisteren twee punten pakte, en Team Catch with Care met één punt. Alle teams hebben nog steeds een kans om te winnen, en vandaag gaan er iets andere regels in die het scorebord kunnen beïnvloeden. In tegenstelling tot de eerste twee dagen mogen de teams vandaag alle soorten water bevissen, zoals Björn ons net vertelde. Vandaag mogen teams ook met live sonars actief vissen aanwerpen voor de gehele dag. Today we are back on the same lake as we were yesterday. Same tactics, same spots. And I think we're going to get the same result. Ja, yeah, I hope so. Let's go. Don't fall in the water. <laughs> I hope not. No. My shoes are still wet. All right. So that's good. The continuation of the adventures of Danny and Andy. Team Relax. Yes. Yesterday we had a pretty hard <laughs> and interesting day, especially at the end. The day never ends, it keeps getting better. The problem is no we, we got an outflow of water, <laughs> about 50 <laughs> centimeters, and we're stuck. The weather changed on us yesterday, the water level dropped. Today our game plan is, Andy decided that we're going to fish around one meter to two meters of water. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Today, all or nothing. Definitely. Uh, we have to catch the fish to win this competition. If it is even, po even possible, we don't know yet. Maybe we have already lose, but uh, we have our own goals. We want to uh, get a few points um, yeah, till the end of the competition. Definitely. Right? That's yeah. our, I think this will be our uh, day. It's a bit mist, misty, but um, yeah, a little bit rainy, but it will end in the, I think, episode six. So let's hope for the big one. Are you ready, Jonas? Definitely. Perfect, let's go. This is Team Bullseye and we are on our mission to catch five big pikes today. We're really pumped. My voice is almost gone, but I'm so, so ready to set some big hooks. Welcome back to sunny Finland. Yeah, the weather today is way worse than yesterday, so we are happy to be here. Yeah, yeah, it couldn't be much worse. I think in the morning it's like really strong winds. Then we are so soaking wet and then it comes freezing and snow and in the afternoon. So I'm looking forward. We'll make the best of it. Keep on using, man. Keep on using. See you Enjoy guys later. It. We are in in the last day. And uh, it's pretty calm, it's foggy. And hey, today we can use all the technologies we have in the boat. Yeah, let's so do that. it's let's promising. Do that. It's promising. Okay. They can't escape from us. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's a beautiful day. The weather's so nice today. It's gonna be rainy. Rainy, windy, cloudy, bike weather. Al de hele week hebben we grote verschillen in het weer gezien in heel Europa. En vandaag is het geen uitzondering. Team Kingfisher Reizen en Team Vrapzetrix zijn in het noordoosten van Finland, waar de luchtdruk de afgelopen dagen gedaald is van 1020 tot 970. Vandaag kunnen ze zware wind en een mix van regen en sneeuw verwachten. In Zweden is het weer het meest stabiel geweest. En vandaag blijft het nog steeds hetzelfde. 
Verder naar het zuiden is de temperatuur het grote verschil vergeleken met Noord-Europa. Opnieuw worden zomerse temperaturen verwacht in Nederland en iets koudere in Duitsland. En heel veel wind voor alle teams die niet in Scandinavië zitten. Big pike weather. The big fish are going to be on the shallows feeding for spinnerbaits. Ja, yeah, that's what they naturally hunt on, yeah. Right. Spinner First bait. cast no fish, that's good. Now we can go. It's always a thing. If you catch a fish on the first cast, it's usually a shitty day. Yeah, For me. For me. That's true. Yeah. But I wouldn't mind if it was like a 12 kilo pike, then it's fine. Oh, we're close to the spot where I lost a huge fish yesterday. Yeah, fish. Crazy! Is it decent? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a leader toucher, right? It's a dinky dink. Leader touch! Yep, first touch of the day. Oh! <laughs> and let it bite you. Nope. Nice one! Beauty! Good start. Second cast of the day. Nice fish. Fish number one for Team Neistroft. Let's go! If we can continue this streak, we'll go crazy. Yesterday, 21 fish. Let's get it to zero. And there we go, number one. You want that first one in the boat so you can release the tension. You really want that first fish in the boat. And you're like nervous until you get it. It's uh, because you know you don't know if you're on the right spot at the right time. You can only plan for it and uh, and hope the the pike are willing to do as you want. It doesn't matter the size of the first one, as long as you catch one. Yeah, as long as you get the fish. You want to set the hooks. Uh, I, you know, I feel it in my hand. You know. <laughs> Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, that was a big pike. Oh, that was a big pike. That was a big pike. Ooh, that was a big pike. That was one of those we needed. Yeah. Yeah, that was a big pike. Come on, man, back on the horse. <sighs> oh, that was... That was well over one meter. Well over really? a meter. Really? Yeah. You see, the head was like this. Oh, man, come on. Come on, sir. And he go... He didn't open his mouth. He only touched it. Oh, this was... Oh, that hurts. That really hurts. He could come again. It was unhooked, so hey. Yeah, it, it was unhooked, but it, it came... I saw it go. We know it. Let's see. Yeah. No. Yes. Okay. I, I I don't understand. Decide, man. This doesn't. <laughs> no, this is not as big. This is. It doesn't matter. Yeah, uh, but it's a it's a fish. But that one. Ah, oh, this is not that one. It's a fish, man. Yeah, it's a fish. I don't understand what happened there. I said yes and no and. Yeah, no, this is, now it's, now it's, no, no! Oh, oh. Ah! Ah, this one's deep! This one's deep! Come on, man. Oh. oh, this was bigger than I thought. This was bigger than I thought. Come on! Oh. Back to back losses. Come on. That was two big ones. That was two big ones. Oh. Ah. Fucking crying. I set the hook. I know you did. I felt it, you know, I go. 
when it come closer, it went deeper and deeper and deeper. And I said, this is not a small one. And I saw the fish in silhouette of the fish. It's not a small fish. <sighs> Please give me one of those. Please give me one of those. This is not fair. This is not fair. Back to back losses with big fish. That's the start that we would wanted. Yeah. Would have wanted. But come on, man. They're here. They're biting. Yeah, but fucking grab it next time. Come on. When, when, I, when I, you know, it's always, you know, shit when it's like this because you have so much, I don't know what I should have done. Maybe Nothing. Free, I don't know. All right. Yeah. It has been a really cool adventure and, and still are. So, uh, okay, we start fishing now. It's just over eight o'clock in the morning and uh, we are on the spot. So, check us out. That's good. Oh, I lost. You lost it? Yeah. Nice spot look, small one. It was a small one. Okay. So first contact, we tried to find uh, the area with this tent and we couldn't find anything so far, but now we have the first contact. Small fish, but it must be more. Usually when you find one, you find others. So we're going to keep casting there and hopefully we catch something. That was a good take. Yeah. But the small guy, yeah. But you see, it was a little bit of structure more. Ah, yeah, of course. We now start pelagic fishing. So depending on the depth and on, on, of the size of the lure, we can change our heads again with the rig head. For example, from 25 to 15, for example. Just secure it with this pin. And for pelagic fishing, we usually only use one treble hook on top. Just can put over the split ring, secure it with your snap, and you're good to go. Now take it, take it, take it. Ah, King hell. Today is really, really windy. So Andy made the great decision of adjusting and adapting to mother nature and we've moved to a different area in the lake. Um, as you can see, the weather is perfect. We have slight little wind, overcast. Our goal today is to catch a lot of fish, a lot of pike today. And maybe two hours, this very big fish, and special, special this place. Yeah, we're gonna move into some secret areas that Andy has for the big mamas. This first cast, F today. No pike, please. I'll join you, Andy, with my first cast. The reason why Andy said no pike on the first cast, it's just because of superstition. If you watched what, what happened yesterday. Chris cast this pike. We don't want to have a duplication of yesterday, so Andy said no fish on first cast. <laughs> Fish wins, he wins. Yeah, fish. I don't know. Nope. Uh, uh, might be one for the measuring board. Oh, no, it anyway. Nope. Oh, don't add it. Don't add it. Okay, okay. This is a freak bike. Long arm, long arm. Leader touch. Yes, sir. Yeah. Wang, wang, wang. Jesus Christ. Nice fish. Beautiful fish. Not so big, but still, it counts. Number all three. It's Beautiful. not 75, is it? No, no, not even close. Okay. The reason we're not netting these fish Ooh. is because we're fishing spinnerbaits. And if the spinnerbaits get stuck in your net, well, spinnerbaits don't really like it because they're made out of a uh, metal wire. And the wire will bend. But they're so nice on the shallows. The way I fish them, it's not just a straight retrieve. What you do, you just cast it in, start it, so it starts spinning, and then if you see my, if you look at my hands, it's not a 
constant motion. It's like um, spin stops in between. Sometimes you have to be really fast and sometimes you just make some spin stops. Every day is different. You have to, you have to check out what's working for the day. It's a very versatile bait. You can fish it deep, you can fish it shallow, you can fish it through the plants because the wire protects the hooks from uh, getting stuck. So yeah, it's a perfect bait in my opinion. And it attracts big pike, as you have seen on uh, episode number three or four. And last year, this tiny little bait can pack a punch. Yes, well, our tactic for today is uh, we actually came here to catch numbers, but that, that doesn't work all that well uh, at all. So um, the game plan today is hopefully end up with a really good top five. And if we are lucky, we get the one big fish. They are here, but uh, yeah, we just have to get hooked. So we will probably not catch a whole lot of pikes, but uh, yeah, it would be good to have a top five close to 500, something like this. So that's the game plan for today. Since I was yesterday very successful with the Otus I start today because the conditions are nearly the same. We have uh, cloudy sky, rainy, wind, waves, dark water. So why should it be the wrong color now? Yeah, that's the reason why I start with that one. I'm a little bit tired because of no coffee, but <laughs> Maybe I get a strike that wakes me up with that one. And yeah, we only can fish and fish and fish and fish and fish and fish and fish. Now, now I'm uh, looking for some decent pike to you know to, to calibrate, to try how they uh, react and to calibrate uh, my you know eyes and the picture every time you need to calibrate a little bit to understand uh, size more clearly because uh, today we don't want to cast on everything we want to cast on big ones and of course first we have to find them so i'm using uh, two types of uh, transducers i'm using for uh, perspective mode uh, that covers more water and i'm using uh, forward view Normally it's like this, I uh, locate uh, the fish on the perspective, like this small pike for example, and then come a little bit closer and uh, aim with uh, forward and after we cast. And normally, uh, not always, you can see clearly with perspective, especially when it's pretty hard or rocky bottom. And uh, sometimes it's better to locate the fish with forward, sometimes it's better with perspective, depends on conditions. So that's why I prefer to use uh, both at the same time. But uh, also I keep an eye on the side scanning because uh, time to time you can uh, clearly see uh, the big one on the side scan or you can see the group of bait fish or some structure. Now I have uh, 40 meters from every side. So yeah, I have only two eyes, unfortunately. Better to have three for that kind of fishing. Now we will try to cast on a small one just to see how, how they react. Okay, you see? Roberts. Yep. Are you with me? Yes. Okay, I see the lure. Okay, go. So I keep in uh, the, the the forward view on the lure, and Robert is fishing. Okay, okay. Like almost no reaction. That's not good. Just she, she just turned, you know. Yeah. And 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 nothing else. Okay, let's uh, let's try one more time and make a small hit uh, when you will be upon the fish. Okay, okay, go. Pam. Yep. No reaction. No reaction. No. That's not good. That's, yeah, not, that's good. not good. That actually, that uh, we've been uh, <laughs> afraiding from that. Afraid of that because uh, the water temperature is five degrees here. Uh, even 4.7, it's uh, very close uh, to the time when they really don't want nothing. But I hope, uh, also like yesterday, uh, we, we, we will uh, meet uh, some kind of feeding window 
when they will become more active or we will find a fish that is more active or we will find a lure that will trigger the fish or I don't know what, what else but we will do something anyways a week ago when I was there it was uh, uh, six days ago it was 9.5 degrees on the water now it's 4.7 then uh, the drop was pretty hard because the winter also sit, hit it like like very fast and uh, yeah we can we can feel that now on a fish activity that uh, they are not active also yesterday they was just following till the boat and uh, yeah we hope that uh, we will hit that window yeah Gisteren was het lastig voor de teams in Finland, maar vandaag kan het nog erger zijn. Koud weer en een sneldalende luchtdruk zijn geen favoriete combinatie voor velen van ons. Verder naar het zuiden is het wat warmer en Team Relax is goed begonnen aan hun laatste dag. Andy heeft al twee vissen en Danny verwacht er ook snel een paar te kunnen haken. Danny, let's go fishing. Een pike. I'm trying. Please, maybe one pike. One pike this day, please. <laughs> one, okay? Perfect. Yeah. See, Andy, you just yes. said, Danny, one pike. I deliver, baby. Three pike. Let's go. Then in this moment, this big pike, please, okay? I'll try, okay? But at least we're getting some action and some satisfaction. See, even though. <laughs> Just like in life, adapt and overcome. Danny and Andy, samen met team Neestroft, zijn de enige teams die op dit moment al vissen op papier hebben. Team Jigger.nu heeft nog steeds een goede voorsprong. Maar met nog 9 uur te gaan, kan er nog heel veel gebeuren. Misschien zullen de twee gemiste vissen van Björn heel pijnlijk zijn als de dag voorbij is en de punten worden uitgedeeld. We need a fish right now. Imagine having those two in the boat right now. Two meter pikes. That would be a good start for today. Now we have zero. Yeah. Go my left, go my left. It's not doing anything, but it feels heavy, man. This is a, it's, it's a nice fish. It's a nice fish. Yeah, that's a 90, 90 fish. To Jacob, finally! Fuck yeah. Oh, thank oh. God, when I'm useless as shit. Stop it, man. Stop beat yourself up, man. Come on. Come on. Yes, yes. First one. First one. That's anchor. Uh, yeah, this one is, yeah. This one is nice. This one is nice. This might have been one of yours, man. It could have been. It could have been. I waited for a while and then I just casted it up, you know? Yeah, but I think it's more here. Casted it up? Nice English, Jacob. Nice English. Uh, do we have the pliers? Yeah. Yeah. Really slow. Uh, oh, that's a bigger one. Yeah, that's a bigger one. Or is it? I have no clue. Just get it in the net and we'll analyze afterwards. Yeah. I get it down. No, down, 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 down. down, 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 down. I know it's not a big one. Never mind. But it's a, it's a, uh, it's a fish. It's, it's a, a fish. fish. Can you take the net? <laughs> okay. Chaos. Team Chaos reporting in. Chaos, yeah, but finally I hook it and we actually net it as well. Finally. It's not the ones that we seek, but, you know, it felt so good. Actually, you know, netting a fish after you lose two. That I can tell you, that I can tell you. Uh, maybe this day will be White Walker Day. Look at that. The lighting today is totally different. Okay, yours or mine? Uh, it doesn't matter, we can take mine first. Uh, it's over 75, that's it. So we have one on the paper. Ah, here we go. I have 82, I have actually. 82. Yeah. Nice, man. A fat fish. Yeah. Chunky. And feeding. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Yeah, this is 93. 
93 and a half. That's a nice fish. There are bigger ones here. <laughs> Finally, there is a pike god. <laughs> you know, it's, He's it's smiling a, upon us. Yeah, we, we, we're losing two big ones. Uh, these were not the same size, but still, it feels really good to actually get a pike. Yeah, I'll click those. So we have two. Um, 93 and 82, I think. I don't remember right now. I'm still lost in my head from this. Uh, they're here. That's catch them. Yeah, that's catch them. Oh, this is so much fun. Took on a really, really long pause. Are you nervous, Jonas? Yes, definitely. We are on a hard pressure for the day. We have, today is the day we have to deliver. Yeah, for sure. We need the big one. And if we get a strike, we really, really have to get the fish in the boat. Um, and on the brand new measuring board, it needs some pike slime on it. <laughs> I already have the feeling that it, there's not that much time left. It's not nice. I think I got one. Oh, oh it's a good one. Yep. Oh, not a bit. No, it's a small one, I think. Oh, it's okay. I know it's a really small one. Not 75, just below under 70, so yeah, but still the first fish on board. That's nice, more than the first day. So that was the last cast on this spot for the next hours. We will, I think now we will try to get the one in front of the harbor. What do you think, Jonas? Yeah, definitely time to change and uh, hopefully the girl is in the mood. Yeah, and some other ones around. Okay. Let's go, Gunnar. Let's go. I hear you loud and clear. Number one. It's time to change. See, they're striking. They're striking from the front and the back. Yesterday, they were just touching the tails and not hitting it hard. Today, they're coming from both sides. So I think they're very aggressive today. Here comes the sun, do 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 do. Yeah, it's close, it's close, it's close, it's really close, it's really close, come on. In the net. Good job. Fat like an 85. Yeah, around there somewhere. Can you help me up with the board? I want the fish, man. There's fish feeding. What happened to that fin? I'm guessing you know which fin is the longer one. Yeah, 81. Beautiful river pike. 81 centimeters. Going back now. Yeah. Well, we have three pike. It's not bad, actually. Not bad at all. It's not the, the size that we want. We have one 93, that's quite good size. The 80s we need to switch out before the day is over, but it's still really nice to have three pike. So we'll continue hunting them and hopefully catch some more. Fishy. On the spinner bait. Can I make a long arm? Uh, Leader touch, yeah. Leader touch, yeah. This one is uh, feisty. Feisty, hey! <laughs> watch, watch your rod. Yeah, before I have to dive in again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the spinner bait is a little mangled. Exactly. It's not 75, it's, it's like 70. I think so. It's not even 70. All right, let's go. Perfect. All right. Bye bye. Little feisty one. This is what a proper pie can looks like. Nice and red, all mangled up. Means you catch a lot of fish. Strike next to the boat, strike next to the boat. What? Strike next to the boat. Fuck it. Yep, got it. Yeah? No, it's not small at all. No, it's not small oh, at all. It's big, eh? It's pretty big, isn't it? Yeah. Good fish. Nice. Whoa, it's going insane. My god. Meine Gute. Meine Gute. Oh, 
Oh, got it. Go. Nice. That was not the fish that tried to eat my lord the first time, but I don't care. Oh, nice fish, man. We should maybe. Ooh, ow. <laughs> oh, my fingers, man. Weigh it even, just to be sure? Mm, no, we're not gonna weigh it. You sure? 80, 85. 85. Not bad. Here, hold your fish. It's a nice fish. Look at it. Beautiful colors. First one for the top five. Nice. Voila. Spinner bait is still kind of in one piece. Well, let's keep going. Zoals we in de eerste paar dagen al hebben gezien, waren de ochtenden voor de teams in Nederland wat trager. Nu komt team Neestroft samen met team Jigger.nu op het top 5 bord, dat tot nu toe nog verbazend leeg was. Oh, dat was een goede fish. Man. Cast. Ik had een really good take nu, just hier. Really good fish. That feels really nice. Ah, I really said the hook, yeah, but. Oh, fish, 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 fish. Oh, 80, 90, after the bait, up here. Poof. They are here. Maybe a classic busted jerk here. Because it's that depth. They are here. They don't want to bite so far. Oh. Good. The net. I saw when the fish was coming. Oi, oi, oi. Okay, but it's on the water. And, yeah, and this was not the same fish, I can tell you that. Ah, we find them. We find them! Of course! <laughs> Maybe cool. Cool, eh? Yeah, but it's, uh, huh? it was so cold in the morning also, and now we find the place, and the sun is up, and they start to, to bite. Pierre has some really good bites. I have a follower, and now, boom! At On the boat, the, huh? huh? Yeah, I saw when it's come. Boom! The net! It's, just swallow it! A classic giant pig shad. Cool. Ooh, the take. Okay. First fish for the day, Pierre. Yeah, that's good. I think it's not so far from 90. I don't think so. Yeah, but it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the zero on there. Ah, uh, 90, right? 90. 90. Okay, we put it back. You don't want to wait? No. No, this. No, no. This. No. I don't think so. Do you think? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Bye-bye! Always good to have one fish in the boat. Yeah, yeah, and contact. We have two contact. One, yeah. one lost, two lost. Three! We two have lost, one yeah. and one follow. follow. That's good, four takes. I think we stay a couple of casts more here. Yeah, 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 and after we do the front drift. It's nice, eh? It's nice. In het lage drukgebied in Finland voldoet het weer precies aan de verwachtingen. Gelukkig is team Kingfisher Reizen het stormachtige weer al wel gewend. Ze weten dat ze zich moeten aanpassen aan de omstandigheden om zichzelf de grootste kans te geven om te gaan vangen. We are heading up to the river because um, as you see there is there is no chance. There is no chance to fish to fish your lure the right way. So the forecast says the first half of the day will be the worst. What we try now is to go up to the river where we had a better fishing for a good average. Um, yeah try to create a top five and maybe in the second half of the day we come back here to fill up the paper. We'll see what happens. We won't give up. We keep on using and we keep our lures wet. As we do it with us. <laughs> yes, no other option. Let's go. See you later. Another pike bites the dust. Bam, bam, bam. Another pike bites the dust. Yeah. Yeah, we need to keep our spirits up for today. It's a really rainy day. It's like, I wouldn't even call it a rainy day. It's like this, this sad day that normally you would sit inside. Except if you're a pike fisherman, then you go out because it's nice and cloudy. But the whole day it's gonna be 
slowly drooling. I'm gonna get really wet, but we have some decent, well, I have some decent, <laughs> decent clothing. <laughs> Sander forgot his rain pants. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be just as wet as yesterday evening <laughs> at the end of the day. Shut up. <laughs> oh. Clang, clang. It's not huge, but might be 75. Yeah, there's 75. Hoppa, nice. Nice fish. Pikey knuckles. So, it is 17.9. Oh, it is 80. Nice fish, beautiful. Come on, fish. I do agree, actually. It's been quiet. I don't know if we're gonna let this place rest for a bit and move to a different spot. And uh, then come back again to see if we get a second chance on these pike. Yeah, I think we should drift down. Oh! Oi, oi, oi! Ooh! That took on a pause. Nice. Ooh. Take the net. I was reaching for the electric engine. There go. Whee! <laughs> nice. Finally a pike. Finally. Uh, it's not the size that we want, but uh, still. It is 81. 81. Oh well. Nice. It's not a big fish, but uh, it's fish. still it's a, it's a pike, number four. Good job, man. You know there's bigger ones here. The damn bastard stole my tail. Things are looking up for us today. Everything's going to plan, but we're dealing with mother nature, so things can change in a few minutes. But so far, so good, and we're trying to take advantage of it. Okay. No, me. Oh. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Okay. Thank you, Andy. Let's go, then. Aggressive and strong, especially small. against this current. My God, small fish, Good but so fishing. much power. Good Beautiful fishing. day, Andy. I finally got my mojo back after yesterday. If you haven't watched episode four, I had one of those bad, bad days. Anything that could have gone wrong, went wrong for me yesterday. Thank God I had Andy to fill in the gap for me. That's what fishing is, relying on your friends and partners, even on those bad days, to keep you motivated to keep going and never give up. Oh, fuck it. Okay, we Dad. skip that. There's nothing here. Uh, no. There's nothing. Now we're just casting bait for nothing. So we just need to move to other place. Uh, we had, we were thinking we find them because we had some contact straight. I lost one. He had a follower. He catch 190. Small area, but we repeat the drift, couple of drifts a bit deeper, a bit shallow. Zero, nothing. So the, the thing is the temperature is dropping a lot now. It's, uh, it was good when it was eight, nine degrees. Now it's like four degrees on the water, less than four degrees. So I think the fish, they move from this place. So the grass start, start, to start to die. And so we need to find deeper place or something else. So not easy, but we will, uh, we have some time, we will find them. So we'll make a move down river, uh, fishing off the edges. Uh, there's really nice stony structures uh, with big boulders for the pike to stand behind. Uh, then we have a, a quiet area uh, where we've caught some nice fish before. So we'll give that a go, come back here, see if they are, are working with us and then make a decision for, for the next step of the plan. Look at that.
That is so freaking cool. Yeah, I got like goosebumps. goosebumps yeah. <laughs> Just imagine being a fighter pilot and yeah. flying over these sceneries, you know. Yeah. With the rivers and yeah, there's Jigar. Hey guys, you know, and going, man. We're making a quick move to a calm area, uh, a couple of hundred meters downstream. We'll fish it off real quick and then go back on the fish that we had up there. And after that, it's decision time. Come on, fish. I have no power, no engine. Nothing, Truman. Dead. That's very strange because we have 37. Yeah, it's full. There's a fuse. Where is the fuse? Yeah, it's there. And, and it, it, yeah, it was okay with that one. Okay. That's a catastrophe for fishing. Yeah, but we can still fish. Yeah, of course. I fish many years without engine. You can still catch pike, but it's, it's, it's not good, no? I try, when you fix something, I try to find a place that we want to fish. Yeah. We'll fish anyway. We're not going to stop because we don't have any front motor. We can still drift. Now it's a nice spot here. I was just going to say we can spot lock here, but we no, can't that spot we, lock. we can't. I, I try a little bit more here and then we move to that spot because cannot find something big. Something here is standing on the top. Huh? By, uh, something is standing on the top. Here. Yeah, but also... Also small. Small, yeah. Yeah, frankly speaking, a little bit nervous now, because uh, yeah, we, need to, we need to get a first decent one, so we feel confidence in what we are doing. And uh, Robert? Robert? Yes, yes. When you cast, please tell me, so I, I start looking for your lure. Just say that cast, because I see nothing. But I think we need to go closer because it's barely we can see it. I don't want also to come super close so it have some space to follow. When I come closer, she moves. Okay, I do the cast, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I do. 22. Go, 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 go. She follows. Yes, it's on. It's a good one. It's a good one, it's a good one. Good cast, Roberts, good cast. You the man. No hurry, I'm ready with the net. I'm with you. Come, come, come here closer. Otherwise it goes under the boat. Come on. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. No, it's not big. But anyway, it's decent for top five. It's okay. Yeah. First one. Woo. What? Good. I, I, you thought it's bigger? Yes, I, I was thinking it's bigger. Yeah, but it's every time like that. Hey. Anyway, it's a, it's a fish. It's the yes. first one. It's good. That bike on a smaller Frab Gecko in a new color. It's a 6.9 inch lure. Actually, super good for Zander and, of course, for Pike also. That's. That's not my pike, actually. Hold it. It's yours. <laughs> no, it's okay. I will take care about the lure and you measure the fish. It's 98, yeah? How many? 98. 98? Yes, but That's it's long. That's a meter fish almost. But it's long, yeah. Hey, you the man. First fish 98 for the top five. Makes us to come a little down. Okay, we will release it. Oh. I think I need to calibrate something yeah. somehow my eye, because uh, yeah, I, I I I thought it like 80 something, 80. No, no, 85. I felt that I, I felt that it's it's okay. It's not a huge, but it's okay. Yeah, but 98, it's 98. It's almost meter. It's yes. super good for top five. Yes. You're the man. You're the man. <laughs> I just cast what. And one thing I want to ask you, if you want, you, of course you can use uh, first small lures, yeah. but I, I'm afraid uh, if we have big one, better yeah. to use big lure, okay, okay. because uh, not because of no. the lure, but you know it's like more safe with uh, stingers. Yes, I will just... De eerste snoek in de boot voor Team Frapp Zetrex, die een kleine stap dichter bij de top 5 leider komt.
Team Jäger.nu is op zoek geweest naar een laatste vis om hun top 5 op te vullen, maar zonder succes. Ze zijn nu teruggekeerd naar een eerste stack, waar Björn eerder al twee grote snoeken heeft verspeeld. Did you see that one? Yes, I saw that one. Did you see that one? Did you see that one? Oh my freaking god, did you see that one? Yes, I did. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Do you believe me when I say that was well over one meter? Yes. Mm. That could have been this from this morning. He went, he went up to take it, or she. I don't know if the engine scared her or what. I don't know. Well, we had a really nice fish turning just behind the bait uh, by the boat, guys. Really nice fish. Fish. I don't know, man. I have no clue. I want you on my left side. Okay. Yeah. Get down, get down. No, 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 down, no, no. Down, 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 down. Uh, this is a decent fish, man. Be ready. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. All right, that's actually a decent fish. I was like, it's not a big fish. When I saw it, I was like, hey, yeah, man, come not, on. It, it was not the one. <laughs> no, no. Not that one. Not that one. But. Ah, <laughs> okay. We see one, uh, we catch one. Yeah. Oh, they, It was a really big fish turning, and in the next cast, boom, on the same spot. There is there is a little ledge going down from uh, uh, from the more shallow area, uh, and maybe they're standing towards the ledge, and you know you get them interested, boom. Right now we're uh, we're we're anchored with the trolling engine on seven meters. So there's a seven meter plateau here, quite big like a small soccer field. Uh, come on, have, have a look at this. She really, really went for the guppy. I don't know what to say, guys. It just works. Could be 90, man. Yeah, I have to be 90. Okay. okay. 89. 89? Thought it was bigger. Yeah. Oh, hey, beautiful 89 centimeter fish on the guppy in the color Hulken, of course. Pike number five on the scoreboard. Sorry. No worries. There you go, beautiful. So we have uh, we have five fish on the board now. So now it's just a question of upgrading, getting the bigger ones. Uh, we'll give this spot uh, a couple more minutes and then we're switching waters and uh, we'll hunt the really big ones. That is the plan. So stay tuned. Keep on rolling, partner. So the question that we ask ourselves is, for what reason do we deserve this? What, what is your opinion? What have we done wrong? I really have. Um, yeah, but look at this. There is some blue sky, so we enjoy, we enjoy the two square meter of blue sky. Woo! But the closest victories are the nicest ones. Yeah. Watch out. We drop ourselves down a little bit. We need to have like 20 minutes or so before we move. We're gonna lose precious fishing time when we switch to a different location or different water, but Now that the wind has picked up a little bit, then I think it's going to be worth it. There are some big pike swimming here, but they're even bigger there. Hur du var med för att det där var fan i mig inget jävla mothugg som jag vill skriva hem om. Yes. That's it. Thank you. Good Jacob. I need to Real mining. Check it. See if it's bigger. No. No. 
But it's a pike. Yeah, it's around 75 centimeters. Beautiful river pike. Look at that belly, guys. It's such nice colors, this fish. But back she goes, because we need a bigger one. See you when you get bigger. Om een top 5 te verbeteren hebben ze een vis nodig van meer dan 81 centimeter. De totale lengte voor Björn en Jacob is nu 426 centimeter. Een score die meestal niet goed genoeg is om het top 5 punten mee naar huis te mogen nemen. Vooral vandaag, wanneer andere teams vissen met live sonars met een oog op de grote snoeken. Een van deze teams is Team Bullseye, dat op dit moment bewijst dat met een live sonar vissen toch niet altijd de beste keuze is. So we are on the next spot. The fish didn't react to the hour pelagic fishing. So we saw a lot of pep fish here and also some pike surrounding them. We are now casting our lures and make a drift over this deeper water and hope to catch some big pikes. But we finally saw some activity the last maybe half hour before they were just laying on the bottom and now seems like they woke up. Fish. There we go. <laughs> First fish over the deeper water. Unfortunately, it's a really small one for this uh, fishing technique. Usually all the, those deeper waters are more bigger fish because he's actually only food in here, in this food chain. So that's a brave little guy swimming around here with these big pikes around him. But he want to take the lure. Let's measure him. I think it's smaller than 75. Uh, huh? No. It's at zero and it's... 81, huh? The lower fin touches 81. Small little pike over deep water. First of today, but too small. Let's catch a bigger one. Look at those pike marks. I just told you this is a brave little fighter. I wouldn't swim around here if I would be in his position in his size. See you next time. Thank you and goodbye. I used the lamelli with a mouse hand. It's a very natural bait fish design, close to bream or uh, other white fish and this one did the trick now so let's catch a bigger one to all the guys out there in Germany the Netherlands France or wherever we've been fishing here now for 10 days and we haven't seen a single person on the water in another boat it's just you and the wilderness and the trees and the water. It's so nice if you come from, for example, Germany and we've got every water is almost packed with anglers and here it's nothing. You can enjoy it, the whole, yeah, silence, wilderness. It's so nice, believe me. So if you guys want to fish in the same waters than we do, check out our new website. You also have the chance to go here in warmer conditions, I can promise you. Uh, finally I got a strike, but that's a very small fish. I think it's even a sander. Oh, it's a pike. And the leader is touched. So this guy saved me from being Schneider three episodes in a row. I haven't caught any fish yesterday, so I'm happy about this little guy. Thank you very much for coming in the boat. Maybe we are in the race for the big fish now. Nog niet helemaal, maar het is in ieder geval een begin. We komen dicht bij het einde van de aflevering en Team Jigar.nu staat nog steeds redelijk veilig bovenaan de top 5 bord. Op dit moment hebben ze 5 punten in dit toernooi. En er is nog maar 6 uur over van Fly vs Jerk 15. Björn begon vandaag door twee keer een grote snoek te verspelen. En daar zit hij waarschijnlijk al de hele dag mee. Op basis van de reactie van Björn op het missen van deze vis... ...zou deze snoeks wel eens een veilige voorsprong kunnen hebben gegeven. Oh, dat was een big pike. Oké, okay, 
Okay, one more cast. Yeah. And then we go up to see if that uh, big one is gonna willing to bite this time. Third time's a charm, isn't that what they say? We give her 10 or 15 minutes. If she doesn't want to bite, then let's go. She could take all day or she could eat tomorrow. We don't know that. We don't have time for that. Okay, let's go up to her. Yeah. We'll have a chance. One more chance on her. I want to see the actual centimeters of her. I, I, this is between 100 and 110. This is what I uh, think, roughly. So it's, it's a good, decent bite. And leader is touched. Another one. Oh, he goes crazy for numbers. How is furious. So, luckily, the rain is snow, more or less. It's still freezing cold. The wind is still there. We got two fishes and yeah, we, we try to, to keep that up. We try to give our best. We keep up the mojo in the boat. So everyone's very happy here to be outside, to see the first snow, because when we're back in Germany, we didn't have some. Yeah, so we just, uh, we only enjoy it. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's what we do. We enjoy it. Right. Then uh, maybe good fish. Maybe. Yes, good fish. Maybe seven. No, 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 no. Fish are not as bad. No good fish. This aggressive fish. Danny en Andy vangen maar door en staan tot nu toe aan de leiding voor het aantallenpunt. Maar snoeken boven de 75 centimeter ontbreken nog steeds. En ze moeten vandaag alle drie punten krijgen om kans te maken om te winnen. Vlak daarachter bevindt zich team Neestroft. En voor hen zou één punt vandaag genoeg kunnen zijn om de trofee mee naar huis te nemen. Afhankelijk van hoe de andere punten worden verdeeld. Ze hebben ook de grootste vis van de competitie. Wat betekent dat ze een extra punt zullen krijgen als ze in een gelijke stand voor de eerste plaats eindigen wanneer dag 3 voorbij is. We are back on the shallow area now. We are trying to cruise our baits exactly along the sides of the weed. There's a lot of plants here with some open areas in between. We're just trying to mimic some prey coming out of these hiding areas. And man, I saw some giant pike following my lure. No crazy strikes just yet, but they're here. Fish, yeah, yeah, quite a good fish actually. Ooh, nice fish! Yes! Woo! Around 80 again. 82. 82. Nice man. On the roll. Beautiful fish. Let it go. Whee! Tiana, compis. Hey, hey. Troeman en Pierre vagen nog steeds rond met een kapotte elektromotor. Aan het einde van deze intense competitie worden ze toch nog gedwongen om het te proberen te repareren, omdat de wind niet goed staat om te kunnen driften. I try to fish anyway. Yeah, yeah, of, of course. There is some good structure here, some grass and just up to the deep water. Somebody need to fish. I, we don't have the proper things here. I think we go back to the ramp okay. and try to dis disconnect and see if we can fix it. It takes quite fast time to do that. Okay. Uh, because we need to try that. I know, yeah. But now it's no win. Shall we drift this one and then go? Uh, it's better to fix maybe. I think so. Front motor. Yeah, yeah. We do that. Okay. Sorry, guys. We have some problem. Hopefully we can fix it. The charger for the Minn Kota. I think it's broken or something because the power is off. But we try to fix it anyway. We see what happens. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Take it, 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 take it. Oh, no, no, it's under the boat already. I tried the small one. Uh, I, I have to check where she goes. Now let, let, let it rest a little bit, yeah. Try another lure, try a small I, one. I will try the small one. And please, no noise. And that's what I love in that kind of fishing, you know, your heart beating starts like... Okay, you're on the fish. No reaction. Now she turned. She turned, but not to your side. No, it, it was too close. Yeah, she's too close. Where it is now? Or we wait a little bit, because she's ca coming away. Now it's uh, 15 meters, yeah. Okay, go. Okay, it's coming. It's coming. Oh, no. Off. Again, it, it just touched. Man, uh, it just touched. You see in the tail. I will find you one more. No worries. Let's see. We 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 just mark it. If it rests, and it will keep in the same area. We will come back it later and take it. Fish. That's a good one. Good fish. Net. Oh yeah. There we are. This is what we are waiting for. Yeah, that's a good one. Finally. Sorry, the it. Ready? Yeah, man. Maybe it's coming now. Be prepared. Yeah. Oh, wait a second. Yes, it. Yeah. Perfect. Nice, man. Finally, and on the third day. Jesus, a nice fish. So let's measure the beast. It's not a long fish at all, but it's pretty fat. Oh no, just. Yeah. Yeah, 91. Finally. First really, really serious one. Yeah, the first really hard take and the hook was, yeah, in a really nice part of the mouth. So yeah, nothing more to say. Let's await this beast. Not a meter, but still a great fish. So it's 565. It's a solid fish. Perfect. <laughs> nice. So Jonas, four more to go. Can we do it? For sure. Het is niet makkelijk geweest voor Erik en Jonas tijdens Fly vs Jerp. Maar zoals we altijd zeggen, het is niet voorbij tot de laatste worp. Plotseling doen ze weer echt mee aan de wedstrijd en stelen ze het punt voor de grootste vis van Team Jigger.nu. Voor het eerst heeft team Hardy Grace een punt in Fly vs. Jerk. Do we have one? Yeah. Oh, what, what do, do you need that? Might be a good one. So now we are on fire. Oh no, <laughs> Sander oh, again. Oh, uh, grab it for you. Quite funny. Oh man, strong species. <laughs> what a nice one. But now, <laughs> it seems like the fish are biting. Cool, Jonas, your Xander, the second Xander of Fly vs. Jerk. Yeah, pike Pine. species again. Yeah, pike version. Straight after that serious pike, this Xander uh, came and inhaled that uh, big synthetic fly. I think it was the first cast? Yeah, it definitely was the first cast after the pike. Cool, nice. Er zijn nog zes uur vissen over voordat we de winnaar van Fly vs. Jerk 15 kunnen kronen. Björn en Jacob van Team Jigar.nu staan aan kop met vier punten. Maar er zijn gevaarlijke teams niet ver achter hen, vooral in Nederland, waar we gezien hebben dat de betere visuren vaak pas in de middag komen. Volgende week zullen jullie alle deelnemers kunnen ontmoeten in Young Shopping, waar wij de laatste aflevering van Fly vs. Jerk 15 gaan laten zien bij restaurant Krogenko. Heb je vragen voor de deelnemers? Laat je vragen achter in de reacties. En misschien is het wel jouw vraag die de deelnemers zullen moeten beantwoorden wanneer ze op het podium in Jönköping staan. Nu är vi i Jönköping och det är här vid scenen där själva finalen och alla deltagare kommer att vara. Det kommer vara stora skärmar. Det kommer vara proppat med människor där vi alla ska se tillsammans vem som vinner Fly vs Jönk. We will be there and I hope you will be as well to cheer for Jiggar. Yeah. Let's hope so at least. <laughs> Let's hope so. I bet uh, that's going to be a hell of a show. Yeah, it will be a blast. Yeah. Looking forward to see you guys there in person and uh, of course all the other participants. Hopefully see you there. 
and be ready for the finals because this is going to be a good one. I swear we are going to get a really huge bike in the last episode. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and see you next week. Do you have any questions for the anglers? Drop your comment below and it may be just your question that the participants will answer on stage on the final in Jönköping. The closest victories are the nicest ones. Watch out! <laughs>